Good day from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where at this hour, the final major operational activity of the year is underway. The final scheduled operational activity that will bring a new Russian Progress resupply ship for a docking to the International Space Station about 30 minutes from now. The ISS Progress 62 cargo ship loaded with 2.8 tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition 46 crew on board the International Outpost is closing in for a docking to the pier's docking compartment on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Link-up is scheduled at 4.31 a.m. Central Time today. This uh, activity is being monitored here in the ISS Flight Control Room in Houston by the Orbit 1 team of flight controllers operating under the direction of Flight Director Zeb Scoville, who is standing on your, the right of your screen. He's joined on console uh, today by spacecraft communicator Jessica Meir, who is talking to the Expedition 46 crew on board the orbital outpost. This operation today is being uh, run by the Russian flight control team half a world away at the Russian Mission Control Center in Car off Russia just outside of Moscow. They are monitoring all of the progress of systems, all of the systems in the Russian segment of the International Space Station as the progress is uh, concluding a two-day journey uh, from uh, the uh, launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Control panel. Activating power. The Progress 62 cargo craft, which is uh, a new genre of uh, cargo vehicle uh, containing a number of systems upgrades, particularly in the area of communications and telemetry, began its journey from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on December 21st, a very chilly morning. Uh, heavy overcast at the Baikonur Cosmodrome uh, as the main engines lit up at uh, 2.44 a.m. Central Time, 2.44 p.m. Kazakhstan Time. A uh, main engine start built up, the turbo pumps came up to flight speed, the gantry arm swung back, and the uh, Soyuz booster with the progress on top began an 8-minute 45 journey eight-minute, uh, 45-second journey uh, to reach its preliminary orbit uh, and begin the chase to catch up to the International Space Station. A deliberate two-day rendezvous was scheduled by the Russian flight controllers uh, at the Russian Mission Control Center so that all of the new systems on this Progress MS vehicle, standing for modified systems, could be tested out, including uh, a new uh, communications and uh, telemetry system, uh, a new uh, CORS NA rendezvous radar system, uh, a new satellite navigation system, uh, additional uh, debris shields that have been mounted uh, to the outside of the Progress resupply ship, and other upgraded software that will become a staple item for all future Progress resupply vehicles and manned Soyuz vehicles that will launch crews to the International Space Station uh, beginning in June 2016. So the progress systems have all operated normally. Uh, we are inside one kilometer away from docking as the International Space Station crosses the west coast of Africa, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees uh, from either side of the equator. There is a view of the Progress resupply ship, again uh, carrying 1,918 pounds of propellant, 57 pounds of oxygen, 48 pounds of air, 926 pounds of water, and 2,804 pounds of dry cargo in the form of spare parts, experiment hardware, and uh, supplies for the Expedition 46 crew on the International Space Station. A total of 5,753 pounds of gear, 2.8 tons of supplies being delivered to the International Space Station. Back to neutral, down. Two last LEDs are on. The two central ones are not on. To the neutral. In the Russian segment of the International Space Station, two veteran uh, cosmonauts, uh, Sergei Volkov and Yuri Molenchenko, are standing by at a control panel, ready to take over uh, control of the Progress's approach for its docking to the pier's docking compartment in the unlikely event a problem would uh, crop up 
with the Corps' automated rendezvous system. So far, the Corps' uh, system has operated normally. This is an upgraded new system uh, that is being tested on this progress as part of all of the modified systems upgrades that will be uh, a staple item for all future Russian craft, be they unpiloted or piloted, heading for the International Space Station in the future. Now, this view from a television camera on the progress vehicle, you see in the lower left-hand uh, corner of this quadrant uh, engineering overlay view, uh, the distance uh, just now 600 meters uh, separating uh, the uh, progress from the pier's docking compartment as it closes right now at a range at a range rate of about one and a half meters per second at the time of contact and capture expected at 4:31 a.m. central time the progress will be uh, traveling at a glacial rate of about one tenth of a meter per second relative to the international space station we copy standing by for um, further words Copy, Moscow. Scott, from that direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's from the bottom. I don't... Station Moscow, uh, we did not pass the test. Let's go to page 22 and continue monitoring. Copy, we're on page 22. And station since tour test failed, we are going to continue without sending any commands, and we don't have uh, plan B or backup option. That conversation uh, being conducted uh, between uh, the Russian flight controllers and uh, Sergei Volkov and Yuri Malenchenko in the service module, the Zvezda service module of the station, indicating that uh, the Toru system uh, that was uh, tested earlier uh, today is not available as a backup system uh, for the Corps' automated rendezvous system today uh, because of some issue uh, with a command link. However, the Corps' automated rendezvous system is uh, holding solid, bringing the progress in for what is expected to be an automated docking uh, to the uh, pier's docking compartment some 23 minutes from now. Uh, it was uh, noted uh, earlier in the day that uh, some communications uh, issue had cropped up uh, in the earlier testing uh, with the Toru system, which again is strictly a backup system that would be used in the unlikely event that the core system would encounter an issue. And uh, the progress has now begun uh, as planned. Uh, it's fly around of the International Space Station. It uh, is designed uh, to align itself uh, just a few hundred meters uh, directly behind uh, the docking port at the pier's docking compartment on the Earth facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The fly around uh, will take several minutes to complete after which a short period of station keeping uh, will ensue that will enable the Russian flight controllers uh, to measure the precise alignment of uh, the Progress's forward docking probe with the pier's docking compartment itself, uh, to which uh, the Progress will link up automatically just about 22 minutes from now. Yes, we're getting the video, but please continue your commentary. Copy. And the transmit button is um, depressed, and I'm going to comment. We see the fly around in motion. And we have a good visual on the DC-1 docking port. We have a good visual on the station. Continue flying around. Range is 330 meters. And uh, range rate is about 0 0.7 meters per second. The progress uh, continues its fly around in good shape. Uh, no issues other than the fact that the Toru backup rendezvous system, the manually controlled system that would be operated by uh, the Russian cosmonauts, 
aboard the Russian segment of the station that is not available today uh, due to a some communications issue uh, in the commanding uh, between uh, the new progress vehicle and uh, the International Space Station's Russian system. However, that is only considered a backup and under the flight rules is not considered a constraint to docking. The docking schedule just about 20 minutes from now and everything going well on the automated CORS rendezvous system for the Progress's continued approach for its link up to the pier's docking compartment. Sir. The Progress uh, is within uh, 300 meters of the International Space Station, currently closing at a rate of about around. half a meter per second. Right now, uh, the range is about 280 meters, so we're closing in a little bit, about five decim zero decimal five meters per second. Closing rate. Copy. Can you take a picture, please? The International Space Station and the Progress Resupply Vehicle currently flying uh, over northern Algeria, about to cross the northern coast of Africa and over the Mediterranean. Meters, 260 meters range. We'll be passing uh, within range of Russian ground stations uh, a short time from now. That will enable us to continue uh, to receive downlink television uh, from the Progress's view of its approach uh, for docking that is scheduled less than 20 minutes from now. We're getting a uh, really bad quality video, so please continue with very detailed commentary. 250 meters range. A little bit of a closing rate still present, about three, zero decimal three meters per second, and um, we're in roll maneuver right now. Can you? Can you? Copy. The uh, automated approach of the uh, new Progress 62 cargo ship is uh, rock solid under the Corps' automated rendezvous system as it uh, continues to close in for its docking to the International Space Station. About 10 degrees of fly around remaining. Range is about 230 meters. And we're switching to antenna. Antenna solar battery. On the second plate, plane, whereas we were using antenna on plane four, where we have a good visual on DC and the docking port. Copy. Range is 220 meters. Zero decimal two meters per second range rate. And right now, the doctor an excellent view of the uh, Progress 62 cargo ship Actually, completing a two-day journey to the International Space Station since its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. And uh, we lost the signal. Now we have it back on. And we are in roll maneuver right now and targeting the uh, docking port. This roll maneuver is designed... Uh, deliberately and, uh, to uh, properly position the solar arrays on the Progress resupply ship in the correct orientation and for its right final now, approach uh, and link up to the pier's docking compartment, which also serves as an airlock for Russian-based spacewalks out of the International and Space Station. Meters. And a little bit of a range rate, about 0 decimal 14. Uh, we have station keeping. The fly around is complete and a period of station keeping now underway. Five meters. Copy. 
And now this image uh, over Russian ground stations. Uh, we lost our uh, downlink uh, signal through uh, the KU band communication system on the station as we pass out of range uh, from one satellite to another on the tracking and data relay satellite system. This uh, video being received uh, from Russian ground stations. The progress is currently station keeping about 195 meters away from the pier's docking compartment. And Everything going extremely well. Russian flight controllers under the direction of the chief flight director, Vladimir Soloviev, will give uh, approval uh, for the progress to resume its automated approach a short time from now. About one square upward of uh, the center of VKU and uh, about half a square to the right of the center of VKU. We copy. And we're continuing to station keep. Once the final approach uh, is initiated, the progress uh, will begin to inch its way in toward uh, the pier's docking compartment. The Corps' automated rendezvous system uh, will compensate for any drift uh, in terms of uh, the relative alignment of the forward docking probe on the progress to the pier's docking port itself. Radio link uh, to in initiate the final approach. Is it at 10:20? Uh, it might be earlier than that, but that's the approximate time. Okay, at 13:16:20 DMT. Final approach initiated. We copy and we're getting the video. And uh, we are accelerating. And the progress has begun its final approach to close the 195 meter gap between itself and the pier's docking compartment. Once a docking occurs and the relative motion of the two vehicles, uh, the progress and the station itself dampen out, uh, the hooks uh, will be engaged uh, to form a hard mate uh, between the progress and the pier's docking compartment itself. That will lead uh, to a period of leak checks on both sides of the docking interface uh, by uh, the cosmonauts on board uh, the International Space Station, uh, Sergei Volkov and Yuri Malenchenko, tending to progress operations on board uh, for this link-up of the unpiloted uh, cargo ship. Once uh, those leak checks are complete, uh, the hatch uh, to the progress uh, and to the International Space Station side of the progress docking interface will be open, enabling uh, the crew to begin unloading the 2.8 tons of cargo that the progress is carrying on board. The range rate is 0 decimal 83 meters per second. I don't have a good visual on the target right now, but I can tell you that um, it's uh, almost smack in the middle of Vico. Copy. And uh, that's good news, uh, indicating that the new upgraded core's automated rendezvous system has a solid lock right in the middle of the crosshairs. Uh, you see the pier's docking compartment uh, target, 120 meters now separating progress from piers as the progress closes at a rate of about six-tenths of a meter per second. A good view from uh, cameras on the truss of the International Space Station capturing the unpiloted Progress resupply ship, the new Progress MS, or Modified Systems Vehicle. As uh, the Progress and the International Space Station fly 253 statute miles over the border between Ukraine and Russia. Zero decimal five meters per second range rate. We copy, Sergey. And this view also from uh, the high-definition uh, external viewer camera, or HDEV camera, on the International Space Station, bringing you even higher quality of uh, the activity that is uh, ongoing as the progress uh, inches ever so close for its docking to the International Space Station to complete a two-day journey from the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan.
the venerable Piers docking compartment was launched uh, back in September of 2001 to the International Space Station serving a multiple purpose uh, as an airlock for Russian based spacewalks out of the station and as it will today a docking port for Russian uh, vehicles particularly progress resupply vehicles and the crosshairs are aligned Copy. This is the fourth progress resupply vehicle to reach the International Space Station this year. Now just uh, 55 meters away, closing at a rate of two-tenths of a meter per second. Everything aligned very well. The approach going by the book. Less than 10 minutes until docking. Fifty meters. Zero decimal, two meters per second range rate. The crosshairs are aligned. And the target is um, one square up relative to the center of uh, VKU periscope and um, half a square to the left of the center. Copy. The uh, docking mechanism on the Progress vehicle uh, has been powered up as planned. About eight and a half minutes until docking, everything continuing to go very well. 45 meters separating Progress and its destination at the piers docking compartment. Uh, this vehicle will remain docked uh, to the uh, piers until early July 2016 when it will undock and uh, be uh, sent into a destructive reentry back into the Earth's atmosphere. There's a little bit of fluctuation. The target m is moving back and forth relative to the center of VACO, but it's all within one square. I copy. We see it the same. The six crew members comprising the Expedition 46 crew under the command of NASA's Scott Kelly keeping uh, close tabs on the approach of the Progress for its docking to the International Space Station. The Progress now about 35 meters away. You can see the diamond-shaped target underneath uh, the pier's port. That is uh, where the crosshairs of the Corps' automated rendezvous system and this uh, engineering overlay view from the Progress television camera, those two will be perfectly aligned at the time of contact and capture. Closing in. We copy all, Sergey. Range is 25 meters, closing in at uh, 0 decimal 14. Crosshairs are aligned. We copy. The target is half a square to the left and upward relative to the center of Waco. And we see that the antenna has been retracted at 24 minutes after the hour and uh, the closing in rate at 0 decimal 11 meters per second and we copy antenna the antenna retraction uh, referred to by Sergei Volkov uh, there uh, is the core's rendezvous antenna retracting as planned at a distance of about uh, 28 uh, meters away from uh, the International Space Station. The approach uh, continuing to go uh, very, very smoothly as uh, the Corps uh, automated system is behaving uh, just as planned. And uh, using range ruler, it's about 17 meters for range. Copy. 17 meters using range ruler.
And we have uh, updated value in the word S. 15 meters, and the crosshairs are aligned. All is well, the progress moving in toward its docking, inside 15 meters now, closing at a rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second. I have a good visual on the target, but on symbol, I can barely see the crosshairs because it's too dark. Copy that as well, Sergey. The center of the target now is uh, half a square up. Relative to the center of Wakau, the crosshairs are aligned using mug display. And uh, range and range rate are nominal. Range is about seven meters now. Just seven meters uh, between progress and its docking port. Everything going very smoothly. Nominal. Crosshairs are aligned. The core's automated rendezvous system uh, bringing the progress in for its docking just moments from now. About half a degree to the right of the center of WICO. Range is about five meters. And uh, nominal range rate. Less than five meters to go as we stand by for contact and capture with the International Space Station. I'm starting to see crosshairs uh, on symbol again. And it's practically at the center of Wakao. Uh, range and range rate are nominal. Standing by for contact. We copy standing by for contact. We have contact, free drift, and mechanical capture confirmed. Contact and docking confirmed. Docking confirmed at 4.27 a.m. Central Time, 5.27 a.m. Eastern Time, as the Progress 62 cargo craft and the International Space Station flew 253 statute miles over Western Mongolia. Copy and work. And the docking probe now driving. The probe uh, is currently retracting. Uh, that will bring uh, the station and the Progress in for a hard mate. The laptop, very good. A perfect automated approach by the upgraded uh, CORS rendezvous system. All of the uh, progress systems uh, behaved uh, extremely well uh, and uh, sets the stage for those systems to be integrated into future uh, unpiloted progress resupply ships and manned Soyuz vehicles, the first of this uh, new genre to be launched in late June uh, with the uh, Expedition 4849 crew. Once again, docking occurring at 4.27 a.m. Central Time, 5.27 a.m. Eastern Time over Western Mongolia, the Progress 62, carrying 2.8 tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition 46 crew on the International Space Station is now nestled into the pier's docking compartment as we await uh, the closure of hooks to form a hard mate. TV is off. We're standing by for confirmation of the closure of the hooks. That should uh, be coming just a few moments from now. The uh, rendezvous, the docking, all went as smooth as glass. Everything went by the book for the uh, upgraded uh, progress uh, with its core's automated rendezvous system. This view uh, of uh, various components of the International Space Station, uh, highlighted by the orbital ATK Cygnus cargo craft on the right side of your screen, 
with its signature circular solar arrays unfurled. We received the files via OCA. I copy, in work. Here in the uh, flight control room, the visiting vehicle officer, Tom Erkenswick, uh, informing flight director Zeb Scoville that the progress hooks are in fact driving as planned. This uh, will form a hard mate uh, between the progress and the pier's docking compartment, after which a period of leak checks uh, will be performed by cosmonauts um, Sergei Volkov and Yuri Malenchenko in the Russian segment of the International Space Station, the precursor to the opening of the hatch to the progress and the start of the unloading of uh, all of the cargo being brought to the station on this unpiloted vehicle. And we now have confirmation that the hooks are closed, a hard mate now, between the progress and the pier's docking compartment. When are we going to be putting in to work the closed out stuff? Uh, we're standing by for some of the hardware to be deactivated. Let me uh, double check, but it's on MCC Go. And Jacob, did you copy that um, we have the two outermost LEDs on and um, we've switched to the backup receiver? Copy. Um, Sergey, we are go now to continue, so please go ahead and initiate BPS initial. So disable operation mode and then uh, send the command to enable BPS initial. All right, Yakov, uh, we're going to start. What is the first step we need to take? Yep, BPS initial command is the first one. Okay, sending that command. BPS initial. Then what? After that, turn off power. Just remove power. Deactivating. Now, deactivate transmission on uh, COM panel 1. Release transmit button on COM panel 1. Copy. That's complete. And deselect channel 3. This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, you're looking at the moment uh, at a view uh, from a balcony camera looking into the Russian flight control room in the town of Koryov outside of Moscow in the wake of uh, the perfect textbook arrival of the Progress 62 cargo ship that docked automatically to the uh, pier's docking compartment on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. That occurring uh, just a few minutes ago at 4.27 a.m. Central Time, 5.27 a.m. Eastern Time, completing a uh, by-the-book, on-target and on-time arrival of the Progress for its link-up to deliver 2.8 tons of food, fuel, and supplies uh, to the crew members on board the International Space Station, completing a 48-hour journey after its launch uh, on December 21st from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Uh, this uh, progress tested upgraded telemetry and communication systems 
In the end, uh, it arrived uh, and actually docked a few minutes ahead of schedule with all of its systems functioning perfectly. So with the progress now firmly mated uh, to the pier's docking compartment, uh, the crew uh, for the rest of this day will set out on a variety of work. Uh, the Russian uh, cosmonauts will be conducting leak checks at the docking interface before they open the hatch to the progress vehicle to begin unloading its cargo. Uh, NASA astronaut Tim Copra will be uh, conducting a scrub uh, of the cooling loops on the onboard U.S. spacesuits uh, in the Quest airlock of the International Space Station, while European Space Agency astronaut Tim Peake uh, will uh, be uh, setting up and testing the equipment uh, of a, for a spare sequential shunt unit, a voltage regulator uh, that will be um, tested and, if successful, will be uh, brought outside during a January spacewalk uh, to replace a failed unit uh, on the truss of the International Space Station that took down a power channel, one of the eight power channels on the station, back on November 13th. So all of that work uh, blended into the ongoing research on board the International Space Station. Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko in the home stretch uh, in the final months of their one-year mission on board the International Outpost. It has been uh, an incredibly busy December uh, for the crew on board the station uh, with landings, launches, and visiting vehicles. And now the culmination of that, the 62 Progress uh, cargo ship arriving at the International Space Station in the final cargo delivery of the year. With that, we'll wrap up our coverage from Mission Control in Houston. We wish you a safe and happy holiday season and a happy new year. This is Mission Control Houston.